Ladies and gentlemen, we're back in Inazuma to try out this Emily team. Now we have on the right side, you can see Seedreen, Nida, Emily, and Toma. And one of my commenters said to use Seedreen. And for a second, I was like, why Seedreen? But then I was considering, hey, wait a minute. You might be onto something because Furina just absolutely dominates everything. And yeah, she gives a lot of like damage buff. But she also takes a lot of the reactions. So, what if we use Seedreen? Now, I don't really have Seedreen that built. The plan is to try to level up these artifacts as much as possible because they're, they're just HP artifacts. So as long as we get the HP up, we will be chilling. All right, I mean, that that's a little better. Okay, we're almost at 40,000, which means that we're going to get a little bit of a buff from this passive, which is every thousand max HP above 30,000, increase the damage by a little bit. So we're going to get a slight buff. This is for any nearby off-field party members other than Siege So it, it's, it's pretty good. But this will only work for the elemental skill damage. I'm, I don't think what happens after emily uses her ult counts as elemental skill damage but we're gonna we're just gonna test it what should, what should the rotation look like um let's do this do this and we start the burning process so while this is happening okay do one of those and then we can use you i mean um I don't think this. I don't think that worked. <laughs> about this? We actually alt with Seed Green. Right? We alt. We, we, we pull some of these off. And then we're back. And then version. Hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. I believe this sucks. <laughs> I believe this sucks. Um, the second option was Mona. And my Mona is not built, like, at all. Even though I have, like, I have C4 Mona that I, I don't even use. But, um, I, I, I don't think this will bear too much fruit. But I, I, I do want to try it just to try it. Okay, I think she... I think she'll be okay-ish, maybe, possibly. Um, let's do this. Um, I mean... It's kind of working. Maybe if I... Oh, do I have to, like, drive with Mona? Hmm. And then do this. Wait, I think this would work. Oh, this does work. Wait, this works great. And then I can obviously use Mona all too. And then you can use this. Oh, this works! Wait, I kind of like this theme. My Bennett is not C6, so he will not be applying, like, um, Pyro over the normal attacks, but that's okay. We're not aiming for that at the moment. Okay, here we go. Shall we spawn? Yes, we shall. We shall spawn. Okay, hopefully, hopefully this works a little better. Okay, okay. stop that, stop that, stop that, stop that. Okay. This, this, this. Okay, one. I mean, oh, okay, dodge that! Oh. oh my goodness gracious! I mean, it's working. It definitely is. I mean, my mono is basically just applying <laughs> intro. So, I think maybe Kokomi. Home, home. Oh, I forgot to use mono again. You know what? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Uh, what are my thoughts? What are my thoughts? Um, I think it's okay. I just think it's just Mona's a little bit too clunky for me. That's why I never built Mona in the first place. I just I don't like this. But if you're using Kokomi, I think you'd find it a little bit better. I mean, there are plenty of Hydro characters that you could use anyway. Whether it's Nevalet, whether it's uh, Urina, whether it's Xingqiu, Yelon. You just have so many, so many characters that can fill this spot. That I I, I don't know. I just think you you don't really need this. Um, I'm playing this, I mean, you don't really need Mona. Uh, it just feels a little bit clunky to me. Um, but it could work. It could work, as you guys saw. It did work. In fact, it's just me. It's just not my... Th but yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see next. And yeah, that's gonna be it. Yeah.